so we're about to play your new song, Prove You Wrong. Thank you. And whenever I saw it come on a piece of paper, and I hadn't heard it yet, I just saw that you had, it was you and Stevie Nicks and Mara Morris. Right. And so t- tell me about how you were able to recruit those two and why you recruited those two. Well, first of all, this record that I've just finished after like three years of pilling around and working on it was a project of love, um, ostensibly my last album, but we'll see, never say never. But the whole idea was is to honor the people that I've loved and that have inspired me. So first person I thought of actually was Stevie Nicks. I, I recorded with Chris Christopherson, and I thought, you know, i got to make this album filled with people that I just love and I've admired. And I've known Stevie for a long time, so um, had this song that was right in her wheelhouse and called her. And so we recorded with her, and um, I brought it into Scott, and I'd been working a little bit with Maren Morris. And he said, man, the what would really be the bomb is to pay it forward and see if Marin wants to sing on it. So I called Marin. I said, I have this song. Stevie Nicks is on it. And she's like, yes. And so we recorded with, with Marin and it's cool because I think she's really, she's, she's the future of rock chicks like us, you know, the ones that write their own songs and that play an instrument and that go out and hang with the guys. They're tough. They're sexy. Um, and they're kind of, you know, manning their own ships. So it just seemed logical, and that's how it came together. And then here, I always wonder, like, when you call Stevie Nicks, but she's a friend, huh? She's a friend. Do you guys just Can sit you around? Freaking and talk? believe that? I, I, I was about to say that's got to be crazy, but I bet Stevie Nicks goes, "Isn't it crazy that Cheryl Crow's my friend?" Um, I don't know if she does that or not. She's got a lot of cool friends, but I'm the I'm the total geeky kid that had the shag haircut and the shawls, and the platform shoes, and was like, I want to be a witch. So when I met her, it's been 25 years ago at a Grammy. She's like, we should work together. And I, I was basically like, yes, ma'am, we should work together. And uh, we've just been good friends ever since. And now Marin gets to do that and be like, holy crap. Yes, ma'am, we get to work together. I'm telling you, these young kids seem so much more together than I was. I mean, I, was, I still geek out around people like Stevie Nicks and Keith Richards and Eric Clapton. I mean, my heroes. And they seem just cool as cucumbers. Um, she's, 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 a, she's just so together, so much more than I was. But I love her. Just rehearsed with her yesterday for the show. And um, she's got a great future. We're going to play it now. And we're playing it every hour. Here is Prove You Wrong with Stevie Nicks and Marin Morris. And by the way, who's uh, on guitar on this song? Uh, Waddy Wachtel. I mean, who else? Waddy Wachtel has been on every great rock record that ever was. It's like a, a Hall of Fame. Oh, and, and yep. Joe Walsh from ladies and gentlemen. Um, well, Joe Walsh from, from Joe Walsh and, and James Gang and then the, the, and Eagles. the Eagles. Yeah, there you go. And Vince Gill's on too. And Vince Gill's on it. Oh, Vince, I'm sorry. I love you. I love you so much, Vince. The best, the best part of the whole song is Vince Gill. There, I said it. Thank you for stopping by, Bobby. Thanks for having me. And thanks for tweeting me sometimes. I see. I, it. I'm telling you, I'm all, I'm all about it. You lift me up, man. You lift me up. Thank you. Cheryl Crow said I lifted her up. That's pretty you good. Do. All right. Uh, here it is. This is Prove You Wrong here on the Bobby Bone Show. It's the Bobby Bone Show. 